Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Kamasi here with another Bakugan review. Uh, today I have a special treat. I have the new Shields of Destroyer starter set. I caught this one on uh, Target. Um, they had the other two, but I figured I'll save those for another day. But for now, let's get to the unboxing. All right, so there's a look at the back. It's gonna be the Enoch Ultra. Um, Enoch along with Sirius, probably like my top favorite Bakugan. And I'm not sure what these two guys are, so that should be a bit of a surprise. And then it comes with a 40 card deck, so everything you need to do, everything you need to play the official uh, TCG game, six Baku cores and three character cards. So let's get started. I'm super excited about this. I was really uh, looking forward to some of the new cards, um, especially the Darkest one because I mainly use Darkest as my, uh, my faction. Between that and Pyrus, you know, Pyrus has a lot of you know nice damage, nice damage uh, attacks overall. So, let's, so this is Enoch right there. Okay, I'll put him right there for now, and I'll take out the rest of the starter set. Okay, there's the box. Nothing in there. Here we have the rule book, two Bakugans and their Baku cores. So let's go ahead and look at the Baku cores. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's look at the Baku cores first. Okay, so Green Fist, plus one damage and minus two cost on uh, Bakugan gear energy. We have a Magic Shield, plus 400 B power and minus two energy for uh, equipping different Baku gears. Another Green Fist, plus 100 B power, and if you get a Chaos or Pyrus Bakugan on there, you get plus 3 damage. Another Green Fist, so plus 100, and again, same bonus as the previous one. Okay, finally, if it's a Fusion, you get plus 5 damage, and Fire Fist, wow, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, Fire Fist, you get plus 8 damage for Fusion Bakugan. So the Green Fists were probably the, the weak spot. The weak point of this set, the fusion cores are a bit better. Okay, so this is the uh, 40 card deck. Did they separate these? Oh no, okay, I see. So they have how to change, uh, excuse me, Enoch, the two Bakugan cores. Let's see what Bakugan we ended up getting actually. Okay, so first off we have Pegatrix and Gilator, another fusion of these guys. Uh, four damage, 500 B power, Double green fist, and for four energy, he transforms. That's not bad. 1000 B power plus five damage. And if you land on a green fist, another five damage, so 10 damage. So that's actually pretty good, actually. Uh, then Enoch Ultra, you know, we've seen him before. And uh, let's see, nothing in the back. And then finally, uh, Cloptor and Apelion, two damage, 600 B power, and really expensive energy cost. So I'm guessing he's gonna be really good. Uh, not really. I mean, he's he's okay. I mean, honestly, I'd rather play this guy than this guy. But we'll see how this deck holds out. Um, six damage and 1200 B power. But that's a really cool design. It kind of reminds me of like an Aztec warrior with a skull here. So really nice. I like that. Okay. So we'll put that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and transform the two uh, Bakugan cores that come with the set. Starting with uh, Claptor and Apelion, or Apelion. Let's see what he turns into. Huh. Oh, I like that, a little shield and, and the sword right there. That's actually really cool. You guys see his uh, B power printed there, his faction symbol here and here, so he is Pyrus and Chaos. Overall, I like him. I, I like his design a lot, actually. And then we have you know, uh, the same old, uh, you know, Gilator and, and Pegatrix. They, they really like this particular fusion, I guess, because it's easy to pull off. But there you go. There's the uh, fusion right there. He is primarily a Ventus and a Chaos Bakugan, so primarily Ventus and secondary is Chaos. The B power is printed right there at 500. Uh, overall, I like the color. It's, they reuse the Sion blue again. And then you have his two faction symbols printed there as well. All right. And then, you know, we can't forget our boy Enoch, you know, the guy that really pulls off this set together. I'm excited to play, you know, this deck. Uh, let's 
see how it fares compared to the other uh, Bakugan decks that I've, that I've made. Let me go ahead and free Enoch. So there he is in all of his darkest glory. He got his horns up. Uh, he's always a, he's a pretty easy uh, transformation. All you gotta do is put his horns down, all right? Uh, put his legs back, put his head down, put that there. All right, and then you just put his wings in. And there you go. That is Darkest Enoch transformed. Yep, really nice Bakugan right there. But the reason we all came here was for the uh, cards, especially because almost nobody has um, the new uh, cards for the season, unless you bought, you know, that that hundred dollar pack from Amazon, which I'm sure most of us are pretty aware of, like the scam behind it. But I guess they fixed it. Still, I don't have a hundred dollars to just blow on, you know, a bunch of cards. So there we go. All right, so there's the deck right here. We're gonna take a look at the rule book real quick. There's the rule book. Did anything change? Maybe they mentioned gate cards. Okay, so that's some new cards right there. Basic stuff. All right, more basic stuff. More basic stuff, come on. Let's see what we got. Team attacks, damage phase. Effects, getting geared up. Evolutions. Fusion character card, that's a new page right there. I'll let you, I'll let you all read that for a little bit. Uh, and then team term card types and effects. Oh, did they mention the shield one? Okay, so they don't mention what the shield does. Well, whatever. I remember getting a, a Bakugan core set that had something about that. Unfortunately, it didn't say anything. These things are always really tough to open. So, come on, come on. Come on. I don't have my knife on me anymore, so let me, well, maybe this will work. A little. Let's go, all right, we're getting somewhere. Tore off that, okay, there we go. Okay, so, without further ado, all right, let's see. Bakugan Overdrive, five energy to play, and you get to actually take away 1,000 B power from the opponent. That's really awesome. Because a lot of these fusion Bakugan are fusing with like 1,200 B power, even 2,000 B power, so that's really cool. If your Bakugan has three or more Bakugans attached to them, you get to draw two cards. Oh, and you get two of these guys, nice. Uh, Shield Breaker, this turn your Bakugan gets victory. What? This turn your Bakugan gets victory. If it gets victory, you get plus six damage and ignore armor rating on opposing player cards this turn. Maybe armor rating is like how much, I don't know. It does it subtract from the total amount of damage you would do to a person? Maybe. Uh, Righteous Strike. So three de three energy to play, uh, plus six damage and you get to draw one card, trifecta. If your Bakugan have three or more Bakugan cores attached to them, you may return this to your hand. I'm guessing this is probably going to be one of those decks that heavily relies on having more baku cores attached to your baku gone all right baku fetch so two energy this is a fusion uh or you know you have to have both factions in your deck to play this guy so four damage and draw one card for each bakugan core attached to your bakugan fast fusion ray so five energy plus one thousand if you energize this from your hand you may pay two energy to draw one card okay not bad Baku rolls six energy, attach two Bakugan cores from the field to open. Oh, so that's where the other one's coming to play with this guy. That's cool. And you get two of them. I see. Eviscerator Strike. One energy. You get to subtract 300 B power from your opponent. And if you play this on a fusion Bakugan, it's minus 600. That's awesome. I like that. Especially because I think the other, you know, the two Bakugans are, are both fusion, so... Scarf Strike, two energy, plus 500 B power. You get two of them. Energy Funnel, so three energy, and you get 600 B power. And if you place on a fusion, you may re-roll it. You get two of those guys. Uh, fast Fusion Ray, you get plus 1,000 B power. It costs five energy. And if you energize this from your hand, you may pay two energy to draw one card. Okay. 
Darkest Dread. So two energy, you get plus 100B, plus one damage, and you get to draw one card. So a real, you know, trifecta of uh, different abilities there. That's pretty nice. Uh, Monstrous Surge, four energy, plus 800 sync. You may reveal a card in your hand that costs two energy for four damage. That's an interesting caveat. So, okay, so if you're, if, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And that way, if you really want to, you know, defeat your opponent, you just play this card and you can sync, well, it's in the name, sync away your, uh, well, whatever. You can get two of those guys. Crushing Shadows for one energy, you get 200 B power and one Frost Strike. By the way, I just gotta say, the artwork in, the, in these cards is phenomenal, honestly. Ooh, the first flip card. All right, so. Stop a non-fusion Bogdan. If you do, choose a player to discard a card. Huh. I like that. Uh, when you fuse a Bakugan, draw two cards. That's also really nice. But that's assuming you have enough energy to pay it. Let's see. Throw anything. So 400B power and Shadow Strike. So two energy. You can get two of those guys. Another Darkest Dread. Uh, Heos flip card, so stop a Heos or Fusion Bakugan. That's even better, actually. And you get two of that. Another one, Stand Strong. Stop a non-Fusion Bakugan. If you do, you may put this into your hand. Which is, it's actually pretty good that you get to do that because if you do put this in your hand, then in the next round, you can easily put this down as an energy card. And that way you are, you have a better chance of like utilizing better cards, if that makes sense, um, in the rest of your hand. And you get two of him. You get another Creeping Darkest. Oh, okay. A uh, Bakugir, uh, Energy Vortex. When you play this, attach a fist from the field to an open Bakugan. Again, really playing into the, uh, the aspect of, you know, multiple uh, Bakugan cores on each Bakugan. Uh, another one, Light Burst Cannon for four energy. When you f when this flips from your deck, you may pay two energy to put this in your hand. Again, I don't know what that shield rating is. I don't know. Does that just does that like help um, defend against attacks? Like if you had a Bakugan, an opponent Bakugan that does like ten damage, this allows you to only receive eight damage from that attack. Who knows? I'm sure one of you will let me know in the comments section. Uh, Fusion Confusion, Stop Eventus or Fusion Bakugan. That's funny. Maximus Enoch Ultra. Hell yeah. This is awesome. I have an evolution for this guy. This guy gets 10 damage if you have a fusion Bakugan on your team. I love the synergy on this deck. This is awesome. 1400 B power and five damage. Uh, Rainbow Sparkle, just a Baku gear. Costs five energy, you get 400 B power and four damage. Again, with that shield symbol, you get two of them. Darkest Knight, if another card causes you to reveal this from your hand, give a Bakugan plus two damage. Interesting. And you get two of him. So, my thoughts on this deck. Uh, really fun. Um, mostly, again, it's relying heavily on having multiple Bakugan cores on your Bakugan. Um, but, again, that one card, well, actually there are several cards in this deck that allow you to place another Bakugan core on your Bakugan, that's the way to go. Um, I'm a huge fan of the evolution card for this guy. I think it looks phenomenal. I just can't, I can't get enough of the, this evolution. Uh, this fusion, even though it might be the weakest of the bunch, I still think the design overall is really cool. I'm a huge fan of that. And uh, that will do it for this review. If you guys liked what you saw, go ahead and leave a thumbs up or comment or or don't. And I will catch you all later. Peace.